Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Looking on our last lesson on probability um, for expected value and financial expectation. Now, in terms of the HSC, it's probably more likely to get questions in the form of the financial expectation, but I'll certainly show you one of the expected value as well. Um, so expected value and financial expectation. Um, basically, we're looking at the sum of all the results of the probability that the event occurs times the outcome. Now, I know that might sound a little bit strange, but you'll get questions such as the probability, let's say, of getting a 6 might end up being 0 0.8. And they might say you might win a dollar for getting a 6. Therefore, what you do is the probability of the event occurring, which is a 0 0.8, and we times it by the outcome. In that case, it would be winning one dollar. It might say that if you get the uh, the probability of getting a five is zero point two, and they might say that if that happens, you lose twenty cents. So what happens? You will be doing your zero point two times negative in this case zero point two, and that will tell you what the financial expectation of getting a five is going to be. So it's a little bit strange at first, but you'll hopefully get the hang of it pretty quick. Now this is an expected value question, so a little bit different to the financial expectation, but we'll go through it. It says, what is the expected number of car thefts in one day if there is a, now we've got the probability, 30% chance, so 0 0.3 chance of zero thefts, so times zero. We get a 50% chance, so 0 0.5 of one car theft, so times it by one, and there's 20% chance, so 0 0.2 of two car thefts. Now that rule said that we simply find the sum of those things occurring. So I'm going to be adding those three probabilities together. So the first one will be 0 0.3 times 0, well that's just 0. 0 0.5 times 1, well that's just 0 0.5. And 0 0.2 times 2 is 0 0.4. If I tell it together, we get a probability of 0 0.9. So what is the expected number of car thefts in any one day? Well, it will be 0 0.9 car thefts, okay, or close to 1. So that's the first kind of question. Now, the next style of question, which is certainly more probable in your examinations, is financial expectation. So it says... Find the financial expectation of a ticket in a raffle. The raffle has 300 tickets and there is one prize worth $250. So the financial expectation of this, well, what's the probability that I'm going to win? Well, that will be one in 300 tickets. So that would be the probability of winning, which will also give me a prize of $250. So I'm looking for the probability of my event times it by what the outcome will be. In this case, the outcome is winning $250. So on my calculator, I'm simply going to type in 1 over 300 times 250, and that will add up to give uh, 5 over 6. Okay, or I guess... Um, 0 0.83 recurring. Alrighty. Um, so pretty much that's my my financial expectation. Um, or you might say my financial expectation, if I buy a ticket, it's actually winning 83 cents. <laughs> so not a huge amount of expectation there. It's quite unlikely I'm going to win any money. Um, I'm going to look at some HSC questions. This will make a bit more sense, I believe, with financial expectation. So Amy buys a $1 ticket in a raffle. All right, so she's spending $1. So theoretically, she's down a dollar. Okay. Um, there are 200 tickets in the raffle and two prizes. First prize is $100 and second prize is $50. Find her financial expectation. So let's first uh, work out what her probability is of coming first, of the first prize. Well, she's got one ticket out of 200. 
So the probability of her winning the first prize is 1 in 200. And remember, if she does get that, she wins $100. Now, what's her probability of winning the second prize? Well, obviously, if she doesn't win the first prize, she's got one chance out of uh, nine, so 199. Sorry, no, it'll be one chance out of 200 chances. Times that by the winning prize of $50, and that will generate the answer of 0 0.75 cents. So we expect her to win 75 cents. However, there is a trick with this question. She paid a dollar for the ticket. So if I take a dollar away for the ticket, we actually come up with negative. 0 0.25 so we actually will actually would expect to lose 25 cents which in this case would be the answer of C um, that's a pretty tough question guys and I know some of you may have put 1 over 199 either way it still would have come out to be that answer um, so you wouldn't have gone too astray if you put 199 there I'd understand if you did that um, but certainly yeah losing 25 cents that's a tough question the last one's pretty tough too. Um, Ty plays a game of chance winning, uh, with the following outcomes. The good thing about this is though, they give you the probabilities. So if they don't give you the probabilities, you might need to work that out. But in this case, we've got them there. So we've got, um, even before I read the question, I can pretty much just say I'm going to be doing one-fifth times winning 10. I'm going to be doing a half times winning three. And I'm going to be doing three-tenths times losing eight so you can put negative eight there if you wish or you can put times eight and then subtract that answer um, what is this financial expectation we're going to be adding all these together okay so if i put that in my calculator so one fifth times ten plus one half times three plus three tenths times minus eight okay we end up getting an answer of 1.1 which in, if it's in dollars it's a dollar ten um, again you might have done this which is okay as well a lot of people will say um, a fifth times ten plus a half times three so I'm just using decimals and then take away the three tenths times eight that's exactly the same thing as this okay they're both the same Either way, we get a dollar ten return. So he's pretty happy. However, the game has a two dollar entry fee. So we're taking two dollars away. Therefore, what is his final expectation? Expectation will be negative zero point nine zero. Okay, which means we're going to expect expect to lose. 90 cents if I play this game. Obviously, you could be lucky and you could win the $10, but certainly the expectation would be to losing 90 cents each time. Look, I know expectation can be a little bit challenging to understand. The main part is to find the probability of the event occurring. They sometimes will give it to you. You're lucky if they do. Times it by the outcome that you're being told about. So in this case, it was plus 10, plus 3, and minus 8. So we're timesing by that amount. And then we're finding the sum of all those events occurring, and that will give you the expectation. The more challenging questions, you may have an entry fee to play the game, which you obviously have to subtract and take that into account. Um, I hope this made a bit of sense. Please go through the HSC questions on this because they're quite similar and it gives you a really good sort of idea of what to expect. Expect. Um, but yeah, have a go. Let me know if any problems, guys. Um, that wraps up the probability questions for the HSC General 2 course. I might do an extra lesson just on some HSC questions as well um, to give you an idea on what to expect. Have an awesome day, guys. Uh, drop me an email if you need some extra help.